Hey folks, I'm George from Skyhoy and here I have one of our C90 units. But this one has been designed according to the needs of one of our customers. What he asked for is to be able to control 8 smart uh, scope uh, monitors and an ATEM switcher, the auxiliary output of an ATEM switcher. So uh, here it is, it's ready for shipping but uh, I want to briefly explain you how we have configured this device. So, um, first of all, let's set all of the settings of the unit, the IP addresses and uh, the rest. So, you know how to do that, I guess. We need to reset the device and hold the configuration button on the back. You see that the status LED blinks in red and all the buttons are red. Now, let's enter the web interface. I type in this uh, IP address and this is the web interface so you can see that I have the IP address of the unit the ATEM switcher and then eight smart scope monitors now let's configure that I don't have more than this uh, smart scope dual monitor so I'll control only that one in order to do that, I type in the same IP address for Smart Scope 1 and Smart Scope 2 so I can select which one I want to control. And then I have Monitor 1 and Monitor 2. All the rest are off so I don't mess up with them. They are not here. They are not present. So I'm ready with all the settings. I press Submit. And then I go and reset the device. You see all the colors cycle through the buttons and we are ready to go. So let me show you how the ATEM control works. So this is um, the input select for the auxiliary one input and in order to see how it works we go to the ATEM software control panel and I'll show you the auxiliary one bus here. And when I press any of the buttons, I change the source. And the last one is the program. So, camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, program, and so on. Now, maybe you have noticed that in the back side I have a um, strange uh, breakout board. That's just a test board. But it's being connected to a GPIO interface on the back side with the DB25 connector. And uh, I, I have done that because the customer asked us to be able to control the auxiliary bus from a remote uh, place. So um, he can just connect it to the GPIO. And with this board I can just switch uh, the auxiliary source. You can see that I can do it here. So uh, we can control the auxiliary bus from two different places. Now let's go to the smart scope uh, control and as you can see I, I have only those two buttons lit that's because I have disabled all of the others in the web interface and uh, now I want to control this monitor so I select scope one you see that those buttons light uh, up and then uh, we have picture and that's what we have here now I want to see the waveform and I want to see the RGB parade YUV parade, vector scope and uh, histogram and the audio you see and back to picture and now I want to control the other one so I select the other one and uh, I select something different like this one or this one and you see I can control it so uh, that's uh, how it has been configured and uh, that's what our customer asked for so uh, if you need something similar just you're welcome to contact us. Good luck, folks.